One by one, dozens of cats pulled from a home in North Belmore. Take a look at this. The conditions inside, we are told, were unsightly and unhealthy. News 12's Tama Ponton is live at the scene for you tonight with the very latest on what is now a rescue mission. Tama. Well, Marissa, ASPCA officials tell us that they have actually rescued about 40 cats from this home here in North Belmore. And take a look behind me. You see that sign on the door letting people know that the home is condemned. We have actually seen some cats roaming around the property. If you look closely in that front window to the right of the door, you can see a cat scratching at that window. Neighbors tell us that the stench coming from the home here on Washington Boulevard is unbearable at times. In fact, we can actually smell it right now standing out here. We're told that kids weren't able to play outside. People weren't able to be in their yards and there was even cat feces and dead cats around this con now condemned home. It took four and a half years for them to do anything. And you know why they did it? Because there's an election. Erin Urbanski says she believes that's one of the reasons Nassau County officials, including the SPCA, police and fire marshal's office, finally showed up today to remove dozens of cats from the house next door. This started in 2017. I have called the town, the animal shelter. They did nothing. I have called Adult Protective Services. Everybody just gave me the runaround. Urbanski, who shared pictures, videos, and correspondence with News 12, says she started documenting her efforts back in 2019, trying to get county officials to rid the neighborhood of what she says were likely a hundred cats taken in by her older neighbor. Some, she says, even living in the walls of this house. The stench about the cats, about them defecating all over, her bringing them in, the dead cats all over the backyard, the front yard. Today, Nassau officials say they removed about 40 cats living in filthy and dangerous conditions. The inside of the house is horrible. In a statement to News 12, a spokesman for the town of Hempstead said in part, animal cruelty is crime and will not be tolerated in America's largest township. Urbanski says while she remains frustrated, her pleas for help went unanswered for years. She is glad the town and county are finally addressing the issue. Sad. It's very sad. I feel bad for her because we tried to help her. Now, Tama, what about all of those cats? What happens to them here? Nassau SPCA officials, what are they doing? Well, they tell us that there is going to be a big cost to care for the cats that they have rescued and say if anyone wants to make a donation, they welcome them. Now, town officials also say that they set traps for those remaining cats and say they will be come back here throughout the week to take care of the ones that are still here. Marissa, Rich.